high. Is it in the power of the appointed minister to Suspend elect the mayors and councils? Your boy FK, if you are new on this channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification button so that each and every time when I upload a video, you will be notified that FK has uploaded a video. Today, I want you and me to talk and to, to talk about um, the trending issue which is going around um, of a minister firing councillors and uh, and um, mayors. Okay, I was asking myself a question. I've, I haven't done constitution law, but I don't think it is right. How can the appointed leader, appointed power, fire the elected leader? It is confusing. Can it be the confusion that Siawan talked about in one of his videos? We don't know. But this one is not right. The people of Kitwe, the people of Lusaka voted this because they saw that these people will represent them very well, okay, in their areas. But how can someone who was appointed by one person, we don't know, that appointment can be based on relationship, it can be based on whatever agreement they made. It is between two people. It is a contract between two people, so to say, to one. But these people rose up and decided that no, despite all this standing, only this one can represent us well. And how can such a person be fired by someone who was, who, who, who was just brought in, okay, by one man? I don't think it is right. I've put up this video because one of the person who is vocal explained it very well and explained it very well he said and this is Sarah Chishimba he said that firing councillors or yes. suspending councillors it is mayor. more of insult to the people who elected these people in such offices it is like telling them that they don't think they, they, they are nothing so it is like all this collective, col uh, the, collect the collective decision of the people which they made is of less important than the decision that the minister made. Now, let us go into the clip and watch Sevia Chimba, president, and see what he had to say. is the most useless ever local government minister in the history of this country. He can't even define himself. When he looks at himself he's in a mirror, you ask him to define yourself. That guy, Charles Banda, can't define himself. That guy, Charles Banda, has destroyed the Ministry of Local Government. The law is in black and white. The mayors of Zambia, in Zambia country, they are elected directly by the people of Zambia. Councillors are elected directly by the people of Zambia. And they drive the power from the so-called constitution, which is not a constitution, from the same schedule two of the Zambia Independence Act of 1964, section 65 of the laws of England, which we've been amending. We amended in 1973, we amended in 1990, we amended in 1996, we amended in 2016, that schedule. That same schedule, the amended schedule, empowers the people of Zambia to vote for me as direct. The same schedule is very clear on the powers of councils. So which authority has that Kachao Zibanda used to suspend the councils? Which authority? How do you suspend people elected? You are suspending the people of Lusaka. It means the people of Lusaka remain suspended. It means that Kamea is saying the people of Lusaka are the most stupid people. That, 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 that minister is saying that the, the people of Kitwe are the most stupid people in Zambia. So the people of Kitwe and the people of Lusaka, according to Charles Banda, you are stupid people. All of you, you are collective fools, according to Charles Banda. He slapping the people of Lusaka in their faces. He has slapped the people of Kitwe in their faces. 
And if you cannot be angry, if you can't say enough is enough and call for a revolution that will end this nonsense. These people are the most, this is the most, most, most useless government. And everything they are doing day by day is as if they are saying, please kick us out of power, please kick us out of power. It's like that's a song they are singing. They don't want to remain in power at all. This is the most divided government ever before, ever. Look at the so-called fight against corruption, where they are only targeting people from particular regions. And yet they have the most corrupt people from the region of the same rulers that we have. They are dividing Zambia. And the people of Zambia are viewing this as uh, uh, this government as a government which is that to divide this country, tear it apart, so that they can run away after they leave this country destroyed. These people, I think time has come to do ancestry DNA. They must tell us where the mothers are buried. They must tell us where the fathers are buried, so they can go and do ancestry DNA. And I can assure you, I have no doubt, mm, I have no doubt, these people must have an their ancestry outside this country. There is no way. Anybody who is a nationalist, who love this country, can do what has happened to Zambia. The suspension of these two councils effectively means that central government wants to, 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 to push in. They want to push in their dirty noses. They want to push in their long fingers in order to manipulate everything that is going on. Remember, Lusaka City Council alone accounts for more than 70% of revenues in the outdoor advertising sector, which accounts for 300 million United States dollars. Lusaka City Council alone, you're talking about 70% there about. And then Kitwa is the next together with the dollar. So why have they picked these key cities? They want to have the answer. From there to be all other councils, because mayors in this country must be the most respected. Look at the councils. This Kachau's banda has mismanaged that ministry of government. Council workers remain unpaid. Go to Lusaka City Council. The council workers are in areas. They have not been paid their salaries. And yet, Kalaka tells Banda and Akafumoka Shikuta. Akafumoka Shikuta. Akafumoka Shikuta. Bottomless Kafumo. Bottomless, bottomless stomach is eating. Council workers are not eating. Other councils, even Chipata, Chipata Council. We took about six to seven months. Go to other rural councils. The story is the same. Council workers go on and pay. And we, the UPP, have been calling on this government to ensure that even the financing that we have under COVID, that finance councils clear the strategies for council workers as part of the, the COVID funding strategy. Because council workers must be motivated. Council workers must be the ones that must make sure that all public places are sanitary. We cannot defeat COVID without involving council workers. We need unity. We need to clear all the salaries of council workers as a matter of agency. Enough is enough. We in the UPP have said repeatedly that our policy when you form government with your help, you, the young people of Zambia, what we shall do is that we are going to teach these you know, people who have destroyed this country a lesson. And how they see it, they will see it in action. All statutory bodies that have usurped the powers of, the powers of councils are going to be scrapped off. All government implementation will move from ministries and will take programs to local authorities. Each council, each district is going to be transformed into a county. Lusaka County, Kasama County, Chipata County, Mongu County, Chadiza County, Chingola County, Kitwa County. These counties will be run by executive mayors who also just be called executive governors. Each council, each district will be like a city-state. And when it comes to budgeting, each city-state, each county will reflect in the national budget. We will let each city-state plan under the powers of this mayors will be called the governors, district governors. We will scrap off these ones you call district administrators. They will be scrapped off. We don't need central government representation in the district. One government will streamline operations, will bring in administrative efficiency and effectiveness. This is the plan of the UPP. When we do this, we restructure these councils. This notion of talking about capacity will not stand. It will not be that. Because when you dissolve RDA, Road Development Agency, all those engineers with their big stomachs, those stomachs will disappear because they will have work in the councils in the counties. Because each county will have the Department of Public Works. And all those people, they are going to be taken in these councils. So you cannot be talking about capacity when you take capacity, take capacity, and you, you lump it up there at the top, and then you, you disable the councils. 
So those engineers, their duty will be to do roads. Councils, counties will be doing roads directly. They'll be building houses. We'll go back to the winning strategy under which councils will again be liquid. Councils.